Okay, so once you hit the back to WordPress overview, you should see under current installations, just the one set up here, and you can click uh, visit site to go there, or like if you found problems or don't want anymore, or whatever the case may be, you can always remove it just by going here. Okay, so now the other tab we opened. Anytime you have to log in to your WordPress blog, what you'll do is go to wplogin.php. This is after your domain name, so your domain name.com forward slash wp-login.php so normally I have a um, program set up it's a roboform that saves all my passwords for me so it will automatically save that with it if you don't have something like that you can just um, bookmark the domain or whatever to make it a whole lot easier instead of having actually remember that and then down here the username and password that you set up for your admin details this is what you want to put in here and then once you do that just click login okay so once you logged in you should be at your dashboard here and see a screen similar to this okay so the first thing we want to do is change how the site is set up so instead of I'll just go up just above here and click view site and this is the default how the site will look what we're going to do is just change some of the stuff um, I'll show you where you can get some other templates to use also we'll go in delete this uh, default comment or default post along with the comment and make some changes for the links here and get things set up so first thing we'll want to go do is back over to this page here and along the side you want to click on appearance and then create or click add new themes and now it's up to you what you want for your theme uh, between colors and sidebars and what side you want them on and everything else or you can do a search and sometimes stuff does come up like say you wanted maybe golf and one will come up um, some of them have stuff in there um, you can also just do a search on google and you can find a whole lot of free themes that way um, for this one here, um, just gonna go back for a second. Uh, I want something with blue in it, and we'll go with one, two columns, and let's see what's there. Okay, now we can just scroll through and see something we like. Okay, uh, just something else I want to show you because this is why I ended up doing to find this. Up at the top, you got a few options here, and you can click those to find uh, different ones there. I just went to newest and decided to go with this one here. So you can click preview just to get a better preview of what it's going to look like and so it doesn't matter a whole lot 
like you can start off one and if you find something else you like instead you can always switch so you aren't stuck with that design so we'll just click install here and then click install now and you click activate okay now if we come to the site and hit refresh now you'll see it's set up so once we've done that we want to come over and go to go over the side again click on post so we, we want to delete this default post so just go delete ok next go into categories and in here you'll see you can add a category over here and here there's a default category of uncategorized I don't like having those so we'll just click edit now it's up to you you can leave it but it's my friend preference to get rid of it. Um, this one I'll just um, and video and the category slug just put same thing as this category name. It just helps for the, like search engine friendly type video. And then go down and click update category. And so my default category will be video, um, depending like if you're in the golf niche, you can put golf or golf training or whatever your uh, default topic should be around, put that. So once we've done that, now we'll come over and Add a few other dom or for a few other categories. So one more domain name. And if it's two words, I usually put a dash in between. And scroll down and click Add Category. Mm 